Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, man. I, I did not uh, test <laughs> my microphone before this, so we'll see how this goes. Ash, you keep pushing everything off the desk. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, Ash. I know you have more space, but <laughs> I was hoping to use this space, Ash, that's all. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Yeah, okay. It looks like my mic might be catching a little more of my uh, PC. Probably because I put the new fan in it. So I apologize for any annoying noises or anything. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um... Yeah. I might have to move my chat box, I don't know, since the window's gonna be there and it's always gonna be super bright, but that's, that's fine. Anyway, yes, hello. I'm back. It's been a week. <laughs> I apologize. Um, just had to get the move going and then, you know, get the internet set up and then we still have other shit we need to do, so. Stream may or may not be a little late tomorrow. Because <laughs> I, I gotta do some stuff tomorrow. But yeah. And for the rest of the week, probably. Um, yeah. Hello. I hope everything looks and sounds alright. Uh, I totally forgot to get... Um, like, pins. So I could hang something up back there. Totally forgot. I meant to do that today, and I just... I spaced it. So... Cause I got I got something awesome back there by a favorite artist of mine, but I can't put it up right now. <laughs> no way! I can't believe this. First sub in the First new sub house. In the new house. <laughs> Thank you, Chog, so much. I appreciate it, dude. How are you doing? Thank you so much. It is it is now known that Trog is the first sub in this house, and I think you were in the uh, previous one too. So. You've got a good streak going on. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can break that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to get like used to this new space. I haven't even really been on my computer until right now. So, <laughs> but yes, thank you again for that 16 months, dude. Holy shit. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much, friend. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do some Pokemon today. Um, I haven't set up my uh, consoles yet. They're all on the floor over here. But I have not set them up, so. I'm okay right now, Dr. B and Arya are trying to coordinate for a new Ishmael emote. Dr. B? Who's Doc- wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? But yeah, gonna do some Pokemon, and then I have three figures to unbox on stream. Um, yeah. Oh, Downright Base, that's right, yeah, because he made the SB emote. Hell yeah, dude! At least I think he did. No, it was, a. Uh, it was someone else, wasn't it? Either way, that's awesome, and I can't wait to see it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, a new room, yeah. Waifu's where? They're, uh, they're over there. In a pile. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a new room. <laughs> Nothing in it yet. Like I said, I want to uh, put something on that wall back there. But I forgot to grab the stuff to actually put it in the wall, so. Yeah. <laughs> Hans, that's what it was. Hans, thank you. Yes, I have I have the waifus over here. <laughs> no, I didn't, no. So I was talking to my roommate, and I was like, yeah, someone keeps recommending uh, Monogatari. Mono. Monogatari to me. Monogatari. 
And he was like, oh, they're fucking trolling you. Here's a, here's a toothbrush scene. And so we all watched that together. I, I guess I'll still try it. Try watching it at some point. I don't know when, but... <laughs> yeah. So, there's that. Because we, we were on a discussion, a weeb discussion, of our favorite scenes in anime. And I've already talked about mine. Mine is, uh... When Unit 1 tears apart one of the angels. Can't remember. But, um... And we were just on a weeb discussion. <laughs> Has a context. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I know it's his younger sister. I don't know if I need any more information than that. <laughs> An important one as well. Uh, hmm. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll see what I get there. BRB food. <laughs> Alright, um... Man. I don't know if I want to do Pokemon right off the bat, or do the figures, since we already have our chairs in here. We could do figures, I guess. That's, of course, okay with everyone. Doing figures first, and then jumping in, into the Pokemon Nuzlocke. I think that sounds good. We've already got some people here interested in the waifus, so... I think it's... I think it's just one waifu. One waifu this time, but three figures. So I also have more space on my desk. So I'm trying to uh, get that all sorted. A lot more space, actually. It's fantastic. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. How about... Let's do that. Let's do the figure unboxing. <laughs> Put in let's chat. It's just chatting. Okay. I'm back! Welcome back, our chairs. I've decided to do the uh, figure, figure boxings for unboxings <laughs> first. Um, question is, would you like to see the waifu first, or the other two? Because I only have one waifu. The rest are two dudes, I guess, so. Oh, you should grab these. I already opened one of them, just to make sure that it wasn't broken, because it has a lot of issues being broken. <laughs> Harem unboxing? Okay. <laughs> Figure boxing, I see moving guy, you traumatized, yeah, honestly. Yeah, I don't I don't wanna think about boxing or unboxing anything, honestly. <laughs> I'm good on that. Holy shit. And we're still doing shit, like I have to go over there. Probably for the rest of the week and actually clean the fucking house. So, while we're also unpacking everything here, like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll do the waifu first. Let's move. move the mic a little bit so we don't smack it around. Uh, that's a very cute Rowlet in your window. Thank you. Thank you. I hope he's also got a friend, too. I had him over in this corner of the window, but I was like, oh shit, well, I don't have anything for the stream, so. <laughs> you can barely see him, but you know. So, of course, it's from a Mi Ami, so we have a cute little illustration. Fantastic. Magical magical girl, a Mi Ami, I'm guessing. Kinda looks like uh, she has a devil tail, so I'm not really sure. 
For some reason, this artwork reminds me of the characters from that one Galgun, the Galgun games. You know, the like the little devils. This is just a pastel version of that. I don't know. I can't remember her name, but I know it's from Ami Ami, so I'm sure her name is like Ami or some shit. But yeah, there's also a cute little fucking illustration on the back with the fox. That's a nice thing that Ami Ami always does. They always uh, package a cute seasonal or monthly, I think it's monthly, image. So. I don't know what her name is. <laughs> ah, so excited. My favorite line of figures. Wow, they even put a plastic around here this time. <laughs> we got the uh, Chikorita girl. <laughs> Katone with Chikorita. Your Japanese name is Katone. Um, I think she's silver? No, no, duh. Silver's red ha ha red haired kid. Oh, yeah, I guess her name's just Katona. I don't know her English name. I don't know if I've ever known it. I was recommended Mob Psycho last night. Dude, Mob Psycho's really good. It's really chill, and then it like ramps up and it gets good. And it's it's a comedy, but it's good. I would recommend it as well. <laughs> ten out of ten. I kind of get into Pop Team Epic, no matter no matter what I did. I just kind of get into it. Mop Psycho is hella good though. Kotobukiya. the box. That's my bad. Of course, Smokey's over here eating the box. <laughs> Last mob episode was lit. Only two more episodes and the season ends. I'm sad. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, I, I can't remember her name. Like, her canon name. <laughs> also, hello. Uh... Rel Street? Rel Street? Cause yeah, she is the girl from the remake of Gen 2, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I originally was not gonna get this one, um, because I don't really care for this character, honestly, or this character model. I prefer gold, 110%. Gold is best boy. But... <sighs> I saw the pose, and I just, I don't know, I fell in love with it. I had to get it. I i did see that um, when I got reincarnated as, as a slime, um, got a third season announced, though, for 2020. I still need to watch that. But, you know, I'm always going to say these things. I need to watch this, I need to watch that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, Kotobukiya, fucking, oh god, their, their figure lines are just absolutely amazing. Like, I love their Pokemon series so much. Obviously. Oh no, Chikorita's little, little head spike, little head leaf is off. It's supposed to be. <laughs> Oh, second season announced. I swear I saw that its third season was announced for 2020 or some shit. Huh. I don't know. I just see these things browsing Reddit. I have no idea. <laughs> 
Yes, Omen's Poison Ivy is also a uh, Kotobukiya. They're actually making a new Poison Ivy figure. As well. New pose and everything, which I'm kind of surprised by. Trying to make sure it fits in there. It's Chikorita. She looks so good! She looks so good. I love that they put the uh, different colored petals on the side. Very nice. That was a good Chikorita right there. Ash was clicking my mouse. But for anyone just tuning in, we also- we have two other figures as well. Oh shit, I like what they did with the base here. They actually made it silver. Nice. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be gray, but no. It's actually silver. Damn. Yeah, gold and silver. Nice. That's a good touch. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, uh, with my- um, the black, black and white figure I have of the girl, I think it's, uh, black and pink to, like, match her color, but I like what they did with this, calling back to the actual, uh, games. Uh, let's see, Petals, I was wondering what Shikorito's sitting on. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I'm guessing it's using, like, um, Oh, what does that move? Pedal... Pedal dance? Or something? Oh my god, the cats. <laughs> I'm sorry, my cats keep stepping on everything. Because, yeah, uh, with these figures, they tend to have the Pokémon doing, like, a move. So it can sit on a stand, usually. I think there was one that came out that actually didn't have a stand. I think that was Pikachu from the red figure. He's got sparks from his cheeks, but I don't think he actually has a stand. I <laughs> see the move was successful. Hello, Devil's Cry. Yes, the move was su successful. Please don't chew on that, Smokey. Um, yeah, it's uh, still chaotic as fuck, <laughs> but I'm... I'm able to stream now, so I have internet, PC set up. I gotta work on my other computer, but yeah. here she is. Like I just I saw this pose and I immediately fell in love. Please don't eat the tape, so I Looks pretty cramped in there. <laughs> in this room, yeah, in this room a little bit. Cause like I'm right here. And then Omen's right there. This is a smaller room, definitely, but that's fine. That's okay. Everything else makes up for it. <laughs> Good lord. Oh shit, they actually did come out with a console? Damn. It's called Stadia? This Pokemon music is really good. Yeah, it's... It's right down there, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky. I think I got it from Flint. Best Pokemon Waifu is Rosa. I don't know. Which one's Rosa? I don't recall that. Uh, I, I really hate May, but the May figure is the figure that got me into collecting figures, so. Yeah. I just. Like, I don't really love this character model. But honestly, seeing this figure, I'm a little more in love. They did such a fucking good job on it. Like, I almost dropped it. <laughs> you know what's also really nice? Check out those thighs and those socks. Mm, perfect. Absolutely perfect. But yeah, they did a fantastic job with this. I'm really happy with what they did with the pedestal. Freaking silver and gold. Wow. Noise. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey is used uh, for its public beta. I did hear about that last year at GDC. You could play, you could stream 
uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey through Google Chrome. So Rick and Fen, hello! What's up, you guys? I'm back. <laughs> Also, yay, yeah, cat heaven, yeah. <laughs> I actually have Ash. Uh, Ash is right here. And then Smokey's running around eating tape off of various boxes, so. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Moving and stuff. Having moved, I should say. Yeah, Stadia, that's, that's an interesting name. Thighs are always welcome. Yeah, I agree. Gold This is actually, uh, God, I don't know her name. Gold is, Gold is the male character. Silver is the red-headed, uh, rival character. I know her Japanese, Japanese name is Katone. But I don't know her English name at all. <laughs> Alright, let's box this up. Chris? Oh shit, yeah. Her name's Chris, yep. Yeah. You're right, our chairs. It's Chris. You say it and I remember. Oh, I totally forgot she has like... She's got little fuzzy balls on her bag. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I do like uh, that they added the Pokenav right there. Or whatever the hell Gen 1 called it. Yes. Yes, Gold's name is Ethan. That is correct, yeah. And yeah, her name is Chris. So, yeah. <sighs> Fantastic figure. I, Kotobukiya freaking just doing an amazing job as always. God, I love their Pokemon line so much. If you don't know, I've unboxed maybe two other Kotobukiya Pokemon uh, figures on the stream. Always good stuff. So let's throw her right there for now. Um, <laughs> download the free version of my favorite game. Uh, suggested him to be in a box. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm sure he's in a box eating tape somewhere. <laughs> Uh, I now have four first place wins to Tetris 99. I'm bored playing against these peasants. Wow. <laughs> I mean, hey, you found the trick. You found out how to do it, man. Congrats. <laughs> oh, Chikorita looks so cute in this artwork. Also, damn, Chikorita's huge. <laughs> like, holy fuck. But yeah, they, they put out this artwork and just, oh. I also like what they did with the box art, honestly. The gold clouds and the uh, silver water. It's really nice. This is a good box. I don't remember the other ones, like, going with the motif or anything. Oh, for a second I thought my box was damaged, actually, but there's actually, I'm sorry, specks of uh, gold and silver like, leaf falling around. This, ah, uh, so good. I love what they did with, uh, Gen 2 Heart Gold Soul Silver. I found my inner god, yeah. <laughs> one fee, one fee. Wow, damn. <laughs> you guys. And then we'll do the big one. Alright. He... I already took him out of his box. But I haven't opened... This. So... I got, um, the prize figure for Midoriya. Izuku Midoriya. Little Deku. He was only 20 bucks. 
<laughs> I see a crybaby! <laughs> but I absolutely love the pose um, for this dude. And I wanted a My Hero Academia figure since the series has just been amazing so far. Like, ugh. I have heard that the paint job on him can be a little iffy, but that's because it's a prize figure. Can't really expect a whole lot with prize figures, but I honestly like this pose a lot better than uh, the bigger, like, $60 figure they came out with. I refuse to play online with anyone outside my region because some people east of here have created impossible to beat. <laughs> I don't- I don't think I'll ever play online for Poyo Poyo. But I- I need to play it more. Again, it's only been... A couple hours. Do I have a knife in here? No, I don't. Look out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> next arc. Oh, oh man. I, I'm excited for the next arc though. One thing I have noticed with prize figures is that they tend to be uh, boxed up like this. Which I've never had an issue with anything breaking but I just... I have like maybe five or six prize figures at this point and they all they're all boxed like that. Like, as much as I love My Hero Academia, I don't want to wa uh, read the manga because I want the show, the anime, to be a complete surprise when I watch it. Unlike what I did with Naruto, where I stopped watching it and I just read it. And I mean, it was great. The manga was great, but shit, there's still some fights in that I need to watch. The figure's fine so far. You, you just gotta put them together, but uh. <laughs> He's a bit headless right now, is all. It'll be okay. I can't tell if I'm not enjoying it because it feels a lot slower than Tetris or I suck at it, but I'm having a really hard time getting into it. Uh. I'm guessing you did all the tutorial stuff, because you definitely need to do that. Alright, so he's in pieces. <laughs> right now. Just gotta carefully open this. Alright. His hair's a little iffy in some points, but you know, not not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Decapitated. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe it's just not your thing. I honestly prefer uh, <laughs> the Tetris side of it <laughs> myself because I also have a really hard time with the Poyo. But uh, I don't know. I just love the aesthetic of the game. Alright, here's his body. got like a shine on his chest like a gloss I'm not sure what that is huh <laughs> I don't know his chest is a little funky but there's his chest <laughs> one way to learn Poyo Oh hell yeah, I didn't even really notice that he had his hood. 
flopping around. Heck yeah. I... This looks a bit creepy. <laughs> but, you know. Start speedrunning Sonic Mania. Oh, yeah. To learn Poyo. Yeah. Here's his legs. The boy's legs. His big ass feet. Holy shit, his feet are huge. <laughs> his fucking feet are massive, mate. Alright, let's put them together here. Hopefully it all fits perfectly. <laughs> That's another thing about prize figures. Sometimes they don't fit and you have to file it down yourself. He is... He's being difficult. He is being super difficult. There we go! together. Oh, he looks good, man. He looks so good. Honestly, there, he doesn't really have any paint issues besides a couple spots on his hair, but that's... That's fucking fine. Deku borrowed Sora's clothes, yeah. His fucking Mickey Mouse ass shoes. I saw a battle angel. Oh, shit. How was that? <laughs> oh, it's a Deku figure. Yes, it is. Sorry, my camera might have, uh, cut there for a second. God, I love this pose so much. Oh yeah, his newer gauntlets. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, this is before he gets those. And before he switches his style. I, I didn't even think of that. But shit, I love this pose so much. <laughs> I said fun, not efficient. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's got another piece for his stands. There we go. All right, um, is there a picture on how this goes? No. It didn't give me a guide or anything? Okay, I'm just gonna have to figure this out. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here. I loved it, there was one thing I hated, and a couple parts that are really campy. I was so into the story of the universe. I loved it. Nice! Heck yeah, that's good though. Alright, um, so it looks like he has an attachment here to his leg. So it just fits into his leg right there. I mean, they could have, they could have put it in his butt, but they didn't. So, you know, grats to that. <laughs> um, I'm guessing this holds his other shoe up. No, it would go like this. Right? Or... There we go. Got it. <laughs> Thankfully they made one of the pegs uh, smaller than the other, so you could easily distinguish it. Uh, and then, oh, okay, this just... Uh, I guess I probably should have put a 
in already. Oh, we good. We good. <laughs> I have to put this bad boy in first. See how this uh, holds his leg. Kind of. It's more just there for uh, your personal personal need to make sure it's okay. Whew! They could have put it in his butt, but they didn't. So congrats to that. Happy <laughs> be up till be nineteen. Yep. First quote in the new house. This is such a good Midoriya figure. Like for 20 bucks, like fucking come on. This is sick as fuck. No real paint issues, honestly. Like, fuck. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Heck yeah. Yeah, this was a prize figure. Just 20 bucks. That's the great thing about prize figures is that uh, they've gone up in quality lately. The, uh, the Halloween Miku one that I have that I unboxed on stream. Uh, you can watch a VOD of it if you want. Um, that was also a prize figure. Also 20 bucks. Though I did see a, a prize figure that was like 40 and I think that was a Dragon Ball Z uh, prize figure. Which, for a lot of people, a lot of figure collectors, that's a little too much. Because when it comes to prize figures, uh, you can have a lot of paint issues or parts not fitting correctly. But I've never had a problem, so. I like the folds in his apparel. It's good detail. Yeah, like, honestly. Again, for a fucking prize figure, this is just this is bonkers good. <laughs> they did a great job, like you said, with the uh, the lines and the clothes. They're actually molded in there, so God, it's so nice, dude. So fucking good. Heck yeah. Nice. I wish Disney would bring back the Vinylmation figure. Uh, which one? Because I think there's quite a lot of Vinylmations, right? Uh, the person that got me into collecting figures was actually Rocco Bodhi from Mega64. Um, he collects a lot of the uh, Disney figures. So, you know. The Vinylmations and stuff. Just put you there for right now. Um, so I think there's more than one. Oh, just just them in general. Okay, I didn't know they uh, they stopped doing that. It sucks. <laughs> huh. Yes, they are the figures that you can find in UFO catchers. Yep, you can also just order them outright for twenty bucks or. Uh, you can spend like five dollars in a prize figure uh, UFO catcher and try to get it. So, but since I'm in America and we don't really have access to UFO catchers usually, um, I just have to order them. But fuck, it's fine. <laughs> it's a streaming platform. Ooh. Game streams haven't. You have to have really good internet for streaming a game, which not everyone has. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll hear about it. I. I, I don't know how that's gonna do. Last figure of today uh, is Repeat. Yay! I had some issues uh, with Bandai. <laughs> about this figure. Why do they have a controller for that then? Well, you could probably just like connect it to the streaming service and use their controller. I don't know. 
That figure looked amazing, dude. Yeah, like, some of them are. But yeah, I had some issues with Bandai with this figure. Um, it was supposed to come out when the game came out, so, like, December um, in Europe and January in America. But this got pushed back, and people in Europe who are getting their figures, because they get, got it before people in the US, reported a lot of broken tails. Uh, you can see there's a long ass tail behind this boy. A lot of broken tails! So I think they redid their packing strat strategy for the US, and uh, so they kept it back a couple months. And I didn't even know it shipped, and I was like, hey, can I change the address to that? And they were like, no, fuck you. And I was like, wow, okay, fuck you too. But it turned out okay. <laughs> we still got it. Wi-Fi? Wait, connects via Wi-Fi? Are you kidding? Wi-Fi? Not a physical fucking port? Jesus. I don't have a good feeling about that. Let me look at this. It's features to be supported on desktops, laptops, TV, tablets, and phones. Good god. 